Hey everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Hella Basque. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Welcome to the Hella Basque YouTube channel where every week I'm talking to you about the Basque country, Basque culture, different things having to do with Basque people. Today's video is part of a series of videos all about Basque history. Now in the last video, I was talking to you guys a little bit about how a Jewish community in the Basque country was affected by the Spanish Inquisition during the Middle Ages. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a different group that was affected by the Inquisition, we're talking about witches. Not only was the Inquisition in Spain trying to get rid of Jews and Muslims, but they were also trying to get rid of pagans or any sort of rabble-rousers in society that was going to disrupt the Catholic order of the monarchs. And that affected quite a few people in the village of Sugaramurti, which is a small town right on the French-Spanish border in northern Navarra. Now in the 17th century, the village of Sugaramurti had like a little over 300 people in it, so not a big town at all. But basically what happened was there was a young woman who moved into town and she declared that where she was coming from in Iparalde, the northern Basque country, she had participated in dozens of satanic witchy sabbaths and she had a personal relationship with the devil and like the whole thing and she accused another woman in the town for participating in these satanic rituals with her. And so then the village turned to that woman and was like, what's going on? And she fainted. But then in return, she ended up accusing her aunt for bringing her into all of this life of witchcraft. And before you knew it, the whole town was looking super suspicious at everybody and everybody was accusing everybody else of witchcraft. And basically the village priest stepped in and was like, guys, chill. Like, okay, maybe you did some witchy things, but like, just ask for forgiveness and all will be well. But the abbot in the monastery nearby, he was an ambitious guy, he had different plans, so he actually brought an inquisitor into the area to look into the matter a little further. They weren't going to resolve this domestically in the town, no, 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 they were going to bring in the big guns. Hundreds of people from the village of Sugaramurdi were sent over 100 kilometers away to Logroño and imprisoned there waiting their witch trial. And from what I've read, it was one of the largest, if not the most brutal of all of the witch trials of the Spanish Inquisition. There were hundreds of people, mostly women, but also some men involved. People were tortured for months before the trial. Some died in prison. Some were burned at the stake. But most people, if you can believe it, confessed to the witchcraft they were accused of and asked for forgiveness. During the witch trial, these people were dragged through the streets, through the main plaza, they were abused, and about 30,000 people came out just to watch the whole show. Accusing witches of witchcraft in 1610, like, it was big business. This massive witch trial of these people from Sugaramurdi was uh, widely publicized, and it actually kind of triggered, like, witchcraft fever all over Spain, where everyone was accusing people in their town of witchcraft and it was getting really out of hand so the inquisition actually sent a guy to Sugaramurdi to kind of figure out like what would have been the cause of um, all these people accused of witchcraft and what do you know he came to the conclusion that it was like the local priests who were preaching like a little too much about like the devil and witches and that was kind of inspiring people's imaginations he recommended that the priests should just stop talking about the devil and witches so much and what do you know that kind of helped solve the problem so witch hysteria did subside but uh, it did have pretty disastrous results for some people in Sugaramurdi. The town of Sugaramurdi after that was pretty much put on the map it's a very small place but today they totally hype up this this witch trial past of theirs. There is a museum all about witchcraft in Sugaramurti. There is a beautiful cave you can visit. Supposedly it's where pagan rituals and some of these witches would gather to perform them. I'm actually kind of embarrassed. I've been to the Basque country like a dozen times in my life and I have yet to visit Sugaramurti and, and the witches caves, which is a pretty big tourist attraction. So one day. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos about Basque history, please give this video a like. It tells me that you want to see more content like this and I will plan accordingly. If you have yet to subscribe, please subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel so you can check out all our videos about the Basque country and Basque people as they are released. If you want to catch every video, you can hit the bell as well to get notified every time I post a video. If you're on social media and you want to follow along that way, you can follow Hello Basque at Hello Basque 
on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to check out some Hella Basque merch, I have some Basque themed button packs. I have a throw blanket full of laburus, which is actually an ancient pagan Basque symbol um, since we're on the theme. That is all linked in the description below so you can check it out. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.